Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you enjoyed our previous video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We are a photo booth manufacturer located in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're excited to guide you through the setup process. Whether you're interested in purchasing a mirror photo booth, an iPad photo booth, or a 360 photo booth, we've got you covered. For more information on our photo booth models and options, head to our website. There, you'll find detailed descriptions, pricing, and additional resources to help you make an informed decision. Using our exclusive discount code SHOP during checkout on our website, you can save up to $250 on your photo booth purchase. If you have any specific inquiries, don't hesitate to contact us directly via phone or email. If you've been following our Mirror Photo Booth series, you already know that we've been creating a complete photo booth setup from scratch. In the first video, we put together the Mirror Photo Booth, and in the second video, we set up the camera. Today, get ready to complete your setup as we show you how to install the Canon Selfie CP1300 printer. Let's get started. First off, let's start with updating our DSLR booth software. We'll need internet access, so go to the bottom left corner of your screen and click on the Wi-Fi icon. From the list, choose your Wi-Fi network. Once you're connected to the internet, we'll open up Microsoft Edge. Head to the right bottom of your screen where the search bar is located, type in Microsoft Edge, and open the browser by double-clicking. In the browser, type in DSLR Booth and click on the first link that leads to dslrbooth.com. Click on the blue highlighted DSLR Booth for Windows PC and Mac. After this, we're going to click on Pricing. We're going with the first option, DSLR Booth for Windows. You'll notice both monthly and yearly subscription options. Choose the one that best suits you and click on subscribe. This will lead to another page where you need to sign in. As we're creating a new account, select Create New Account. Once your account is set up, select your subscription period and complete the payment process. Now we're going back to dslrbooth.com. Simply click on the tab up top to switch back. Click on DSLR Booth for Windows PC and Mac again, and this time, we're going for the Download Free Trial. Click Download for Windows and PC and fill in the information that pops up, then hit Download. You'll see the download start at the top right corner. Once it finishes, double-click on the file to open it. You might get a pop-up warning about the software installation. Just click OK to bypass it. Then click Next to begin the software installation. Now that we've finished installing the DSLR booth software, let's move on to setting up the Canon Selfie 1500 printer. Begin by taking out the Canon Selfie printer, the ink, and paper tray. Step one, simply open the ink cartridge compartment on the right side, align the cartridge with the insertion slot, and push gently until it clicks into place. Step two, let's set up our paper tray. Just as shown in the video, insert the paper facing up. It's designed to be user-friendly, so just align the paper, place it in the tray, and slide it into the designated slot on the printer until it clocks into place. Step three, locate the power cord that came with your printer. Now let's bring your printer to life. On the top of the printer, you will find the power button. Once the printer has powered on, you'll be prompted to set the date and time. Using the buttons or dials on the camera, adjust the values for the year, month, day, and time. Step four, with the help of the dial button, start navigating to the bottom of the screen. Look for the Wi-Fi icon. It typically resembles a dot with curved lines above it. Now click on it. Look for the option where it says, Connection Setting. This is the first option that you need to click on. Once you're there, we're going to choose the second option that says, Other. In this menu, you will find two options for connecting your Canon Selfie 1300 to the mirror photo booth. The first option is via wireless router. This method is ideal if you have both the printer and the mirror photo booth on the same Wi-Fi network. It's a convenient way of connecting your devices and enables you to print your photos easily. The second option, on the other hand, is direct connection. This method comes in handy in situations where Wi-Fi is not available. Even without Wi-Fi, you can still connect the printer to the mirror photo booth and get your pictures printed. 
The third option is using USB-C. You'll need a USB-C adapter. You can easily purchase one of these from Amazon or any local store that sells computer accessories. Take a look at the right side of your Canon Selfie 1500 printer. See that port? That's your USB-C port. Now, take one end of your USB-C adapter and connect it to this port. It's time to connect the other end of your adapter. Turn your attention to the back of your mirror photo booth. You'll find another USB port there. Connect the other end of your adapter to this port. This setup is not only easy, but it also promises faster printing. So, you can enjoy your photo booth experiences without any long waits. For this video, we go into choosing the direct connection option method. On the printer display, you should be able to see the option to set a password. However, for this demonstration, we're going with the simpler option of no password. Once you've bypassed the password setup, your printer will display a network name, starting with CP1500. Great, we're halfway there. Now let's move on to the mirror photo booth and connect to the printer's network. Let's begin. On the right lower bottom of the mirror photo booth screen, click on the Wi-Fi icon. Connect to the printer network that starts with CP1500. This process might take 20, 30 seconds, so just be patient. Once you're connected, move your cursor to the left lower bottom of the screen and click on the Windows icon. From there, select the Settings icon. Click on Devices, and on the left side of the menu, click on Printers and Scanners. This will show you the list of available devices to add. Click on Add Printer or Scanner to search for available printers. Once the Canon Selfie 1500 name appears, click on Add Device. This connection will also take around 20, 30 seconds. Great, now that the printer is added, let's launch the DSLR Booth app. If you haven't purchased the necessary software licensing, please make sure to do so before proceeding. With the app open, click on Launch Event at the bottom of the screen. In the top left corner, click on Settings and navigate to the option that says Printing. Click on Configure Printer, and from the options that pop up, select Canon Selfie 1500, click Apply, and then Print. You should see a pop-up message saying that the printer settings are being saved. One last thing, make sure the Print Automatically box is checked. To save these changes, click on Launch Event in the right corner. That's it. You're now officially set up and ready to go. It's a good idea to run a few tests to make sure everything works perfectly. In our next video, we'll be diving deeper into the DSLR Booth app and showing you how to use it effectively. This is an app that can really elevate your photo booth experience, so make sure to tune in. You don't want to miss it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it useful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks.